Hi, I'm Jeremy from Best Color Tools, here to talk to you about myths associated with the 2017 OSHA Respirable Crystalline Silica Standard for Construction. A myth I hear a lot is, I bought good respirators for my crew, we're good to go. Not really true, in fact, it's mostly false. OSHA does require us to use an engineering control. An engineering control is defined as reducing or eliminating the hazard itself. A respirator is a personal protective equipment, or PPE, protecting only a person wearing it, not the rest of the guys on the crew, not the neighbor, not the homeowner. So again, OSHA does require us to use an engineering control. An engineering control is either water or vacuum. There's two engineering controls available for us in the hardscape industry. Aside from complying with the law, to sufficiently protect your workers, you have to supply them with a full face respirator. Two issues with that, number one, it's very bulky, it's hot, it's very difficult to wear that in the summer and work in the heat. And number two, if you wear a respirator 30 days more per year, you don't need to comply with the medical surveillance part of the law, which is quite costly and complicated. Number three, probably half the guys in our industry wear a beard, and you cannot wear a respirator with a beard. So respirator use is not something to encourage, you use it for a pass of short duration. For example, you need to drill a few holes through a wall, you're probably fine wearing a respirator. But a respirator is not really sufficient or a good it's not your first line of defense. We had to start out with our engineering control first.